the window of tolerance. A child's brain can be divided into three different areas. The first brain area to develop in the womb is the brainstem. This is the part of the brain responsible for keeping the child alive when in danger. It does this by taking the child into a fight, flight, freeze or collapse state when it perceives threat. The second area to develop from around nine months old is called the limbic brain. This is the area of the brain that is responsible for the child's emotional maturity, their behavior control, and their ability to have healthy relationships. The third area of the brain to develop is called the cortical brain. This is responsible for learning, language, reflection, morality, processing information and planning. The cortical brain has fully developed by the age of 25 years. To understand the behaviour of a traumatised child, it's helpful to understand that each child has a unique window of tolerance. When they are within their window of tolerance, they can think, love, learn, empathize, be playful, explore, reflect, and use words to describe their feelings. They are at their personal best. When they feel pushed out of their window of tolerance, either to the upper level, hyper aroused or the lower level hypo aroused then their cortical thinking brain goes offline it literally gets disconnected from the rest of their brain they experience a neurochemical change they swing into their brainstem and they feel distress each child has unique triggers which push them out of their window of tolerance. A child can be pushed just outside their window or way outside their window, leading to either mild or extreme distress. Children faced with their triggers who swing into hyperarousal go into fight, flight, freeze mode. On the inside, they feel anxious, overwhelmed, frightened, and sometimes terrified and angry. Their body changes, their heart rate increases, they get shaky and they might get body pains. Their body is getting ready to fight, run or freeze. We know they are not in danger, but their brain does not know this. On the outside, they appear aggressive or anxious or obsessive or controlling. Children faced with their triggers who swing into hypo arousal go into collapse mode. On the inside, they feel empty, dead inside, flat, shut down, disconnected, just nothing. Their body changes, their heart rate decreases, and they get ready to feign death as a survival strategy. On the outside, they appear withdrawn, quiet, hard to reach, emotionless, inactive, unproductive, and unable to learn, relate, or engage. Children who have experienced trauma and loss swing from hyper-aroused to hypo-aroused with limited amounts of time within their window of tolerance. Their window of tolerance is smaller than other children's. 
Our job as adults supporting the child is to help them expand their window of tolerance. As this is where they can learn, love and be loved. We can do this by teaching them how to notice, communicate and manage their emotions and how to bring themselves back into the personal window of tolerance. By regulating their feelings for them and with them, we show them that their emotions are not dangerous and can be tolerated. We can also help by identifying their triggers and creating an environment that feels as safe as possible for them. We must work hard to stay within our own window of tolerance in order for us to help children stay within theirs. Adults stay hopeful and calm. A child's stress response can be reduced with the right support in the right place at the right time.